Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Best in K2 here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a navigation bar using WordPress theme editor. There is no plugin required and it's going to be totally free. I'll be showing you how to do this, design a navigation bar that will suit on your mobile view, on the tablet view and the desktop view. And it is very simple. All right, so come with me. Alright, so when you come into your dashboard here, you come to appearance, then click on menus. So these are menus. This is where we are supposed to have our menus, okay? But here we don't have any menu at all. So we are going to create a menu here. We will name it main menu. But the name does not really matter. You can use any name at all. So you just use the name to be able to differentiate between one menu and the other. So you are going to select, we are going to select primary menu. This is where you want it to display, okay? So if you hover on, okay, let's go to our website and see. So this is our homepage here. So primary menu is the one that will display up here. You can see up here, that's the primary menu. So we are going to select this as our primary menu. So if you if you want, we can choose uh, off canvas, which is the, the one on the mobile and uh, tablet view. Then uh, footer menu, the one that will display on the footer. Okay. So but I just want to select uh, primary menu. We are going to create different ones for off canvas and footer, uh, maybe secondary menu as well. Okay. So now. Click on create menu. All right, so we have our menu created here. As you can see, it's showing save, save menu now, delete menu, not uh, create menu again. So our menu has been created. So now if you come to the left panel here, you have pages, you have posts, you have custom links, you have uh, categories. These are items that you can select and add to your menu as you can see our menu is empty now okay we have created a menu here but it's empty so we are now going to select pages here and add to the menu so look at the pages that we have so far click on all pages here now you see we have home we have about so we can select home and add add to menu so look at one item there. We can select about, can select contacts, can select projects, and add to menu. So you see these are the items that will that will display on the menu there. So now when you come to post, you know if you are designing a, a blog, if you are designing a blog, you can choose to drop post on the the menu, which I don't really advise. Instead of dropping a post on your menu, uh, you can drop categories because post titles are usually long. They will just occupy space on your menu. So if you select on posts here, this is under posts, you have all the posts you have written display here. So click on view or you have all the posts. But on this uh, website, particular website, we have only one post which came with the, the theme. Okay, so that's why we are seeing only one post here. So you can select the post and add to menu, but that's not very proper. So when you come to custom links here, these are links that uh, they are not actually pages, but you want to, to create an item that will display on the menu such that when you click on it, it takes you to a particular link okay so this link can even be outside your website okay so you can just put the url here okay so now but in this case maybe you want to create uh, services and you don't want it to be a page so you just want to have it on the menu so that if someone hovers on it there will be items down but it shouldn't be a clickable item okay so you just put hash here Instead of putting a URL, just put hash. So you now add it to, to menu. So you see, services. 
So, but this is not a clickable link. When you when we go to the the front view, I will show you. Okay, so that's how you can add. You can still add another one, then push it to the menu there. So when you come to categories down here, uh, if you are creating a blog, all your posts, it is advisable to categorize your post. So maybe you are creating a, a blog for digital marketing. Maybe you are is a digital marketing agency. You are creating a blog. You want to be writing posts on lead generation. You want to be writing posts on search engine optimization. You want to be writing posts on trends. You want to be writing posts on uh, website, creating website or landing pages. You want to be writing posts, just different uh, areas of um, digital marketing. So you are going to create categories. So all the categories you create, of course, if you want to create categories, you come to post here, look at categories. Then you select and create categories. So once you once you create the categories here, here they are going to reflect under menus. So you just select them. You come to view or you select the categories that you have that you want to display on your menu, and then you add them here. So once you do that, the items will appear on the menu. So if someone clicks on it on the menu, they will be able to see all the posts that you have written under that category. So if you're writing a post, there's a section where you can select, uh, where you select the, the category that you want the post to, to go to. So it will now display under that particular category. So once they select it on the menu or navigation bar, all the posts under that uh, category will display. So in this case, we are just going to select uh, uncategorized. This is the default category that comes with uh, WordPress. So just select it, click on add, add to menu. So we are not going into creating posts now. So but I just want to show you how you can do it on the show display it on the menu. Okay. So we have about five items here. So but I was telling you something about these services, which is a custom link. So under these services, I want to have items under it, sub menu under it. But let's publish this first, and then we'll come back and add the pages, okay? So menu updated. So let's come to our home page and refresh. Let me show you something. So I just refreshed now, but there is no menu here. There's nothing displaying here. So now come back to your dashboard here, come to appearance, and then come to customize. So this is our WordPress team editor here. So as you can see here, come to header builder. So once you come here, you see the, the first one here, you can have a, a menu on the first one. You have a navigation bar there. You have another navigation bar. You have another one, three of them on your website. Okay, so about Three, having three of them there will occupy a lot of space. And you don't want to take that kind of a space on your website. But if you want, you can still put that. So what we are going to do here, we're going to use this first section for our logo. Now using the second one for the menu. The menu we just created some minutes ago. And then we are going to add something else here, maybe a button or a search icon. Okay, so click here. So this is where we are going to add our logo. So look at site logo here. Click on it. So this is the logo that is already here. So you see that it has appeared here. So if you want to change the image, you can click here and you change the logo, okay? So that is it. And then we are going to add our primary menu. Remember the menu we just created. Hmm? We are going to insert it here now. So come to this place. Click and then insert the menu. Look at primary menu here. Remember, we selected it as primary menu. So select, click here. So just wait for it to display. So you see, this is the menu. Remember, we inserted on categorize there. So but you can, if you create a categories, you name it properly, and then you have it displayed there. Okay. 
So on this menu, we can decide to add a button here. So click here and add a button. So this is the button here. And then I want to add social media handles here just be before this button. So I'll come here, I'll click and add social. Select it and then it will add. And then don't worry, we are going to adjust it. And then I want to add search button. So I also click here and add search. Uh, what is the search icon? Add search icon. This search icon, your users can be will be able to search anything on your website. It's an inbuilt feature. Okay, so it is there. So now let's adjust this. Let's adjust so that. Social should come this side. So you can drag and drop. Button should be the last. And search should be the then the button. Yeah, so so let's view this. This is how it will appear. Okay. So let's bring it back. So if you want to edit any of this. You just click on it so if you want to edit this now you just click on this is the whole menu that is the whole of this uh, navigation bar you just click on it and then you will see all the settings here you can come on design you can change anything you want to change here but remember this is a transparent header so if you click on customize transparent header, this is where you see all the settings. Okay. So you have design here. So these are the settings here. So the same thing applies to this. So if you want to change this color, you know, you can click on any color you want to choose. You have default colors. Select any of them. And it becomes your your menu color, menu background. Okay. So but I don't want to put any color there. I want it to be transparent. Okay. So clear this, and then it goes back. The same thing applies to the menu menu color. This is the text. Text. You see, you see it's on it's on white now. So but you can change it to any color that you want to change. This is the menu. Bring it back to the right. The sub menu. Sub menu is the the items that are under the items on the menu. So if you have over on services, and then you see a drop down. That's what sub menu means. Okay. So of course we are going to add some items under services. So when we do that, we now come and change any settings here so that you will see the effect okay so you have all the settings here so that is it for menu and then you come to socials you still have this pen icon here you just click on it and then this will change here so facebook is where you are going to put the link so you have facebook slide.com slash use your you put your facebook uh, url here of course it's very easy to get just open in a new tab go to your profile and then copy the link on this you on this uh, url box here copy the link and then you come and paste here that's all you do the same for twitter you do the same for instagram okay so if you want to delete this just close it here and it goes uh, if you want to add another one, you can just come to add social. Uh, first, just select the, the platform here. So maybe it's a uh, YouTube, then add social. So you have your YouTube there. You now put the URL here. Of course, if you want to change the icon, you can come to this place and search for YouTube. 
So look at the two icons here. You can select this and you put it there. Okay, so once you do that, you're you are good to go. So that's how you are going to add other handles too. Okay, so so but let's let's remove this the this let's remove the YouTube away. So but uh, just leave it. When it comes to design, this is where you're going to change the appearance of the icons, okay? The view of this social icon. So look at the icon color here. If you put it on official, it's going to bring in their official colors. So as you can see, these are the official colors, but it doesn't look very good in that list there. So of course you have the icon size, you can increase their size here or reduce you have space and all of that there so let's come back to custom so that we change the color this black is not very good maybe we use white so icon colors let's use white there the labels of course we are not displaying their labels there so all of these settings are here so we are done with that now let's come to search this search tool we are going to change the color to white so when you click there, just come to design. Of course, you can increase the size or reduce. Come to design here. And then choose the color white. Color white. And then this button. You can also edit the button. Click on the pen icon there. So here you can uh, change this. can change it to any text depending on where you are leading your users to and then here you can change the link the link to the page the URL and then you come to design if you want to change the color or the size or the font this is where you change the color really so this is the normal color and then the hover color okay so you can change it there then background color here can you see that so but we're not going to change it, we'll leave it like that. And then look at the font here. You can come here, change the font size, font the type of the font, uh, and then some other settings. So when you are done setting all these things, you now publish. So and of course, if you want to add another uh, navigation bar on the top here, that is when you will use this. So maybe you want to add uh Maybe text, you select HTML one, you add text, maybe like uh, an email, contact details, you just select it. So I will insert the text here. So maybe I'll say, contact at learnwebdesign.com. So let me change the color. It's not I uh, change the color of this text color white. So if I want to add another menu here, I can still add. You can add different. Uh, if you have account, if your website is uh, it's a maybe a membership website, you have want to log in, log out. This is where you can have account here. If you want to add another any other thing that you want to add you can add it there so you can drag this and put it by the side here you can drag it and put it this side so that it will be aligned here so you can have another menu there like that okay so we are going to remove it actually we are going to leave only one menu there so just close it close this and so so but this is for the desktop 
So this is for the desktop. So if you come down here, you will see tablet view and mobile view. So click on tablet view now. And let's see. So this is how uh, it will appear on the tablet. Okay. This is how it will appear on the tablet. And then the same thing on the mobile. Okay. So when you are done, you publish this. So let's close this. Let's come back to the front end now and refresh. So you now see that we have our menu here. You can click here and search for anything. Get started, social media handles. Of course, we can space this more on the other side, okay? So let's come back to dashboard. So come back to appearance, come back to menus. So let, let's come back, come back to post, then categories. Let's create categories for this blog. So the name of the category, maybe this is for okay, lead generation. The slug is that's that's what we display on the URL when the uh, category is clicked on. So you have that description. Let's just leave description, but the description is for SEO. Then put description, then add category. So let's edit this too. So quick edit. Put maybe this is for SEO. Update category. So we are going to edit this too. So you have landing pages. Update category. So we have three categories. So let's add more. So maybe you have a uh, Trends, trends. It's under no category. Under no no parent category. So add category. Trends. Okay. So you see that we have four categories here. Now let's come back to pages. And let's add add new pages here. So we are going to add title here, advertising. So we are going to hide this title so that it will not display on the page. So just publish this page. Uh, so uh, add new page. We are going to create another one. Okay, hide it. Publish. So that is it. Let's come back to our menu. You can add more pages depending on the services you have. So let's go back to menus now. So view all pages. So we have home. We have. We are going to add advertising. We are going to add uh, web design. Remember, these are the pages we just created now. Uh, so let's add projects to we're going to put it under about so that is the add so you have all these items here so now we are going to drag these projects and put it under about we are going to move services and put it just before about. Okay, yeah, just before about here. This is where we are going to put services, the contacts. So under services, we have uh, advertising. 
we have website design this is under services so you see that once you drop it inside it becomes sub menu so when you hover on this you will see that this one will display in the front uh, front end okay so you have this are uh, okay projects there are, there are two projects here so let's remove this one so remove it so landing pages this is a category this is a category okay so so when you come to categories here view all you see that we have more uh, categories here so if you are designing a blog you will want these categories to display on the menu bar so that people can easily click on it and view your website okay so you can even remove uh, services of course it depends on the goal of the website okay so if it's a blog and you are not looking at uh, rendering service per se you can remove these services away and then you leave your categories there so that uh, any people can visit and navigate see your posts easily okay so you can add seo trends add it to your menu so that it will be easier for them to to access okay so for a blog sometimes even above section will not be very important okay so you can adjust all of that remove them so you have this so fine let's save this so we have our item saved come to front end So you see that we have our items here. If over here, you see our um, project, over under services, advertising, website. This is the same thing with this, what we did there. So you have this uh, category. So if you click on category, you see all the posts that are under category. We have not written any posts. So SEO, the same thing. Trends, the same thing. Okay. So you have all of this there. So you see this is how to create a menu on Dex on uh, using WordPress editor so like I was saying you can come here and create a new menu create a new menu I will name this menu uh, categories categories so this is going to be a secondary menu let's leave it on secondary menu and then click create menu so come to categories and then view or add all the categories there so that it will be easier for them to navigate okay so add all the categories and then save so when you come to appearance when you come to customize click on this pen icon so you have this here now so just click here this is the bar we're going to use so click on it and then select secondary menu so you see that all the items we have on secondary menu are here now. So if you want, you can drag it to the, uh, the left hand side. But I want it to be in the middle here. So just publish this. So when you come to the front end, refresh. Yeah, so you see that we have, this is our secondary menu displayed here now. Okay. So if you want, you can remove it from here. Lead generation, you can remove it. I the pages. You can remove SEO, you can remove trends down here, and then you have them up here. Okay. Okay. So let's come back to customize. So we can remove this is a main menu. So now if you select here, you see that we have two menus. We have categorize and then main menu okay so if you create another menu now maybe for off canvas this this option here or for footer 
you see that you have more you have it reflect here so you can select any of them and then make changes here so right now you want is active is main menu so since we have created a secondary menu and we have added all these categories on it we can remove them from here remove this is the category too it all depends on what you want anyway you can remove it remove this one too so you have all these ones left there so save this let's come back to our front view and refresh this so you see that the items we have removed are not are no longer here again okay so we can bring this icon this the whole of this menu bring it to this side so that they will be to look better so come back to menus got it here so just drag this so publish so if you want you can drag socials social icons and put it on the top and drag button and put it on the top anyhow you want to arrange it okay so but that is how to to create so come back to front end and refresh so as you can see this we have two menus here you can decide to add some other items here like i added email address contact phone number you can add login logout here depending on what you want to have on your website depending on the features and all of that okay so that is how to create a navigation bar using wordpress team editor of course you can do this using elementor too and it is very easy to so that is it guys if you like this video go ahead and click on the like button and subscribe to this channel for more content that will be dropping here okay thank you very much bye bye